Exercise Incorporated presents Food for Thought! Well, hello, and welcome back to Food for Thought. I'm Ethan. And I'm Kyle. On today's episode, we are going to attempt to make a soft keto pretzel. Attempt to make it. To tell us more about this, we're going to turn it over to our co-worker, Ryan. Ryan? I don't know anything about that. Thanks, Ryan. Sit! Hey, here's what you need! You'll need two cups of almond flour. We're gonna use coconut flour, two ounces of cream cheese, three large eggs, and one tablespoon of salt. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. In a large mixing bowl, add your flour. I'm gonna sift ours. Then we're gonna set it aside. Now that it's sifted, set it aside. In a microwave safe bowl, add your cheese and cream cheese. And put it in the microwave until melted. After about a minute and a half in the microwave, this is what ours looks like after I whisked it together. Now I'm gonna transfer it to the food processor. Plop. Once you transfer the cheese over, go ahead and add your dry ingredients, which is the coconut flour, your salt, and then put in your two eggs and pulse it. Pulse. 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 After pulsing for quite some time, this is what my dough looks like. I don't think these are gonna turn out. This is sad. This is a first for food for thought. Womp womp. Shame. Shame. We failed. <laughs> it's the first time we failed, surprisingly. At least the uncooked noodles worked. <sighs> the uncooked noodles did work, shockingly. Ready. There's people everywhere. We're busy. Hey, I know that guy. Here's what you need. Well, sometimes you fail. Turns out you can't use coconut flour instead of almond flour. Lesson okay. learned. Lesson learned. Yeah. We'll try again. Tune in next week when we do try. I don't think this is, deserves a clap this time. I was going to stop you. Maybe some booze. Boo. That was good. Not playing. Bye. Bye. No, don't you clap. Don't you clap. Oh yeah!